So say you have any right angle triangle. It could look like this, and this would be side A, B, and C. And according to Pythagoras theorem, if you want the length of C, that's just equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, B squared. Now, we can use this Pythagoras theorem to calculate the length of a vector. So if we have a vector that looks like this, we'll say this is V, we'll say vector V is equal to, let's say, 3, 4. Now, what that means is it's just saying that, well, this length is 3, and this length is 4. So if we want the length of V, we write it like this. We'd say length of V with two bars on each side, that's what we know length is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. Now, if we just work through this, we can see that that's, in fact, the square root of 9 plus 16, which is equal to root 25, which is equal just to 5. It's a nice, easy number to work with. So the length of V is equal to 5 units. Now, another way we can look at this is we can go over here and we can say, well, then the length of v is equal to the square root of v dot v. Because if you think about it, we'd say, well, if 3 was kind of the x component and 4 was the y component, we just took the dot product of them. So it, this looks like this. Well, the square root of v dot v. So we'll say equals square root of 3, 4, dot 3, 4. And this is, in fact, equals the square root of, well, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 4 times 4 is 16. And that equals root 25, which is equal to 5. See, we get the same thing. Now, this is 5 units long. So, say, next thing I'm going to mention is if we want a unit vector, what a unit vector is is just a vector that's one, its length is 1. And it can be in any direction. So if we want a unit vector in the same direction as v, well, we can look at this and say, well, if vector v is 5 units long, then a unit vector in that direction would just be 1 fifth of the length. So we could draw it. It would look something, something like that, that blue vector. And how we got that, we said, well, we just multiplied 1 fifth times the length of v, which is equal to, let's say, our new unit vector. And let's just call it vector u. But now in more general terms, if we want if we want to find a unit vector, we could say that, in fact, you just say 1 over the length of v times itself is equal to a unit vector in that direction. And so we'll just use this vector v as our example and say that, well, 1 over the length, which the length is 5, times the vector v is 3, 4, 3, 4, and now we can, it is equal to u, and now we can use standard scalar multiplication rules and multiply the scalar by each component. So u is actually equal to 3 fifths is the x component and its y component is 4 fifths. And that's this blue vector that we've just drawn here. And to prove that this blue vector is in fact one unit long, we can just take the square root of the dot product of u, like we did up here. So we'll say, well, What's the length of u? It's equal to the square root of, let's write it like this, 3 fifths and 4 fifths dot itself. Say 3 fifths and 4 fifths. And if we work through this, we'll just say that that's equal to the square root of 9 twenty fifths plus sixteen twenty fifths which is equal to the square root of twenty fifth twenty fifths which is equal to one. So there you have it. That's the unit vector going in the same direction and its unit its length is one.